Hey y'all, so it's been about a month and this is actually going to be the second touch up that I'm giving my mom. The first one was just too chaotic and although I did record it, it's just, it's just chaotic y'all. It's just, it's just too much. Even explaining it, it just, it's like so little to explain but so much video. So I was just like, you know what? I can wait it out, honey. So, yeah, we are touching my mom's hair up today. But I guess it's really not a touch-up because we decided to cut all that blonde out pretty much and just give her a fresh canvas. So, that's what I'm doing here, y'all. I went in with the Andes Clippers. I used the number zero guard to um, cut her hair and I went with the grain at first and then that didn't take off enough for us so I decided to go back in right here and go against the grain and then you'll see how that just starts to kind of take us back to her natural hair color Fun fact, y'all, I am actually just learning how to cut. Like, I can shave my head all day, but cutting to, like, actually get to a desired style is just different to me. But I really love just seeing this transformation and just seeing kind of what all the different guards do. And, like, the more my mom kind of tells me and guides me, it's just amazing. I don't know. I never really paid attention to the clippers like that because... Of course, I just shave my head, but cut my mom's hair. I'm like learning more and more and I just really enjoy it. Like, look, I did such a good job. It's even. <laughs> so y'all, this method we used this time was different, um, but it actually saves just so much time. So of course I had to oil up her hairline and then i actually greased up her scalp as well just to protect her scalp from the bleach and surprisingly the vaseline has been the best barrier from the scalp and the bleach so yeah we started using it and we just continue to because it just works for us so y'all we went in with the bw2 and i think it was super necessary to go in with that because we took all the old blonde hair off so her hair was no longer processed so all the extra steps just weren't needed we were back to her version hair and it just made the most sense mathematically i mean when working with virgin hair you really don't have to manipulate it as much as hair that's already been processed and that can really work as a pro and a con because of the sensitivity So of course I wrapped her up with the plastic wrap and put on a plastic cap just to trap all that heat in that's coming from her scalp. But instead of rinsing out this first process y'all, once it was absorbed into my mom's hair like it is here, how it's kind of drying out, we just went ahead and added some more bleach over it. And so basically that just reactivated the bleach that was already on her hair. Um, so it's just processing it again pretty much and it's just really a lot simpler and a lot quicker than shampooing your head all those times and just irritating your scalp more and more so I don't know I feel like I kind of like this method more just obviously because it saves time and it's less scalp manipulation and that prevents irritation So once again, we reached our desired color. My mom's hair came out so good. I went ahead and just washed and conditioned it. And y'all, it looked so good and just so fresh. I was so glad we cut that other blonde hair off. Like, if you color your hair a lot and you have, like, really short hair, I'm sure you feel the same way when you just know it's time to just cut that old blonde hair off and, like, get you some new hair. Thank you. 
So that was the method we decided to use. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you've ever done this method before. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, that took good. I know. I know. That took really super good.